Hello guys and welcome to this video. In this video we're gonna be discussing the best items you should be building for Nila. So what are you waiting for? Let's begin. So the best item that you should be going 99% of the time is Navori. It's the best item there is on Nila. Also there's a lot of discussion going and I got so many questions from you guys. What about Geoforce? What about Eclipse? What about uh, Dustblade? So let's go through each and every single option and see why we're not viable for Nila anymore. Because beforehand they used to be viable and they used to be good options but right now Navori is just so powerful that it just overwhelms the other items. So first of all let's talk about Eclipse. So for Eclipse you're gonna be dealing 6% physical damage because you're getting a benefit of being a melee champion, right? Also you're getting 15% movement speed which is not too bad, right? Like on paper it sounds really really good and you're getting 12 lethality as well, like on paper it sounds really good but the biggest problem is and also you're getting 200 shield and you're proking it around 2 times early game, right? Later on into the game you're probably gonna be proking it like once, right? Depending how that team fight goes. Still, you're getting like 200 to 400 shield, which is not too much either, right? Compared uh, to you losing 20% of crit. The biggest problem with Eclipse is you're losing out on crit. Also, you're not gonna be able to build Navori anymore, so automatically you're gonna be losing damage on your abilities as well and you're gonna be feeling useless. Next item is Dustblade. This item actually shifted into the meta before the nerves. People started actually building it, but after it got nerfed from 0 to 18 percent, yeah I think from 0 to 18 percent missing health, the item is not that good anymore. And I know you're gonna be getting untargetability, but it's not gonna be as valuable as Namori as well because you're losing out on crit and you're losing out on bonus damage on Navori as well. So basically same problem with Dust Blade, it's not viable. And the last item I want to discuss is Geoforce. Geoforce was the go-to, right? Like you rush this item every single game. It used to be so powerful, it used to be so nice, it, it, it felt nice, right? It felt nice when you get that uh, Gale Force in and then you ult like 5 people and you're getting a lot of movement speed, you're running around the map with like 412 movement speed, like it was good times. It was really really good times. But you know good times don't last, we know that. After it got nerfed once, we still build it, after it got nerfed twice, we still build it. But the third nerf, when they made the ability, uh, uh, the, cool, the items cooldown 120 seconds, that just killed the item. Like, it just killed the item. If you're going Gale Force, you're basically trolling, it feels like you're not doing any damage whatsoever, and you're not being useful. So we discussed the bad options, so now let's discuss the go-to. The go-to is Navori. You're getting 65 AD, 20% crit, uh, and the best part, each time you auto attack, your abilities reduce, uh, your abilities cooldowns being reduced, which is really huge. Taking consideration if your W is up and you're just smacking them, right, and your W comes back again if a fight uh, goes on really far, right, or you kite back and wait for your W because your W is only like on 10 second cooldown, and then you can fight again, and if you're against something like Rengar, Rengar literally can't do anything against you, right? If you're against any ADC, ADC can't do anything to you and you're just running them down with like 100 HP and they're just crying from inside because they can't do anything against you. Not to mention, you're getting bonus damage on your abilities. Of every single ability, you're getting from like 0 to 20% based on your crit damage, right? So. It's so huge, it's so huge, it just feels so nice to play Navori, like the item in general is so much, so much fun, so much fun. I would highly recommend rushing this item every single game, it just feels really nice to play. 
Second item, you should be going Collector. But before rushing Navori, I would recommend going Collector because you're gonna be getting 55 AD, you're gonna be getting 18 Lethality, right? Also, you're gonna be do getting Executioner's damage, so if your target is like below 5%, uh, you're gonna be instantly killing it. Also, I saw pro players going Dirk, and only Dirk, and then rushing Navori, but it didn't feel too good when I tried it myself. I felt like Collector first item just feels better, to be honest. Maybe because you still don't have uh, high crit on Nawori, right? Uh, that's why it didn't feel good for me, but you guys can try it out as well and see it for yourself. For a third item, it depends. You should either go Shilbo or Aldiar, so Lord Dominic's through the guards, right? It depends on enemy team comp. If we have like a huge frontliner that you need to go through, of course, go Aldiar. If we have like squishy members and uh, you need survivability and you don't worry about the front line uh, anyway because you're getting armor penetration on your Q by default, right? By passive. So then just go Shubo. For your fourth item, it depends. If you went Shubo, then you can look for LDR. If you went LDR, you should be looking for a Shubo. Or if you went Shilbo, then you can also go BT to have a lot of sustain. And it's gonna be really really hard to actually take you down. Not to mention for the last item, I would always recommend going defensive. And the best defensive item is Death Dance. Because it's gonna keep you alive for way longer. You're getting armor and you're getting burn from the damage, right? The damage not gonna be instant, it's gonna be burning throughout the time. Uh, and throughout the time, you can utilize, for example, if you went Shubo and BT, you can you can lifesteal your way up and literally be a really difficult uh, target to deal with. At that point, you can even look for 1v5s, and if you dodge enemy's key abilities with your E mobility, you're probably gonna win that 1v5. That's how broken Nila is with six items. Also, I found out like if you're against a really, really fed Vlad or you're against heavy AP team, you can even go Hemtech as your last item. If you're against a lot of CC, that's gonna be really crucial. You can uh, rush Mercurial Scimitar uh, depending on the situation. So that's about it for this video, feel free to leave a like, subscribe, leave a comment below with any questions that you have. If you disagree with the build, feel free to let me know and why you disagree with the build so we can have a discussion in the comments. And that's about it, thanks for watching and have a nice rest of your day.